No, I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. <laughs> What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes, another day, another video. Last night I tweeted I sleep. What recent news, topics, tweets, videos you want me to talk about tomorrow? Hey guys, today is Monday, April 8th, and today's video is going to be a nice and short and sweet video. There's not a lot of news to talk about, okay? But there is one big news that the entire world is about to experience within like the next like three or four hours or so. JB and a lot of you guys asked me to talk about this, the totality of the eclipse signaling the end of all and how we are all going to disappear tomorrow. Unfortunately, no, we're not all going to disappear, okay? This isn't some Majora's Mask moon stuff where the moon's about to crash into the earth and 72 hours remain, whatever, okay? It's not that big of a deal, but if you Google solar eclipse and press enter, it does this little cool little solar eclipse animation where it looks like the moon is going to be crossing the sun. Is that how it's going to work? A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun and thereby obscuring the image of the sun for a viewer on earth okay and in layman's term the sun doesn't give light to the moon assuming the moon's gonna owe it one bars and i get that by the time you guys watch this that uh it'll be too late but you should not look at the sun <laughs> <laughs> or the solar eclipse without special glasses, okay? If you look at it, I think it was a joke by Trump when he was president. It was some type of eclipse or something. He's like, I'm just going to look at it. <laughs> Man, was just like staring at the sun, right? Don't do that. Apparently, looking at the sun, even when it's partially covered like a during an eclipse, can cause eye damage. There is no safe dose of solar ultraviolet rays or infrared radiation. A very small dose could cause harm to some people. That's why we say the partial eclipse could be damaging, and that's why we protect our eyes with partial as well as the full sun if you don't believe me there are people out here talking about how they looked at the sun and they got got i did look at the solar eclipse six and a half years ago i didn't realize or just didn't get the glasses and i thought it wasn't going to be a big deal and i i closed my right eye and i stared at the sun for a good like 15 seconds um didn't think anything of it not an issue the very next huh, what yo is that all it takes <laughs> 15 seconds guys i'm about to admit something that i probably should not but i feel like when i was like a kid like six or seven or eight i feel like i stared at the sun for like you know like randomly i would look up and see the sun and i feel like i might have <laughs> Okay, look, okay, don't call me an idiot. Don't call me a fool. Don't start laughing at me. But I feel like I have some childhood memory of myself just staring at the sun. Because I was like, oh, there's the sun. It ain't doing nothing. I can stare at it. And I I, I remember vaguely kind of just staring it down, like mean mugging the sun, like on purpose. And I don't know. I don't think I'm partially blind, but maybe I'd have better eyesight if I didn't do so. But 15 seconds, she one-eyed the sun, and then she got got. The day I woke up, and I woke up on my, I think my what is my right side and I opened up my left eye to read on my phone and I couldn't read every other word. There was like a, there was like a blind spot on every other word that I was reading. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Maybe I haven't like woken up. So I woke up, walked around the house. I couldn't see things like I couldn't see. And it was like a direct, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I said, oh my God. Nah, nah, and I and I researched it, the solar retinop retinopathy. I said, nah, nah, nah. So basically, she went partially blind in one eye. That's terrible, right? Because now you have good vision in one eye, partially blind in another eye. So when you look at things, it's kind of like halfway blurry, halfway good. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe you should have been partially blind in both eyes so it's more consistent. I don't know. But look, moral of the story, guys. I mean, I'm telling you this after the fact because the video is dropping afterwards, but I hope none of you guys did look at the sun. And if you did, well, that's it. That's it. The, the GG, the end. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have made a video on Sunday to warn you guys ahead of time. So guys, and huge freaking rap beef news, okay? This is something that you need to know. This is one of the biggest rap news announcements of the freaking week of all freaking time, okay? We got the top rappers out here beefing, and it looks like J. Cole, one of the three rappers that was involved in this beef between him and Kendrick Lamar and Drake, just apologized after dropping a response diss track 
<laughs> to Kendrick Lamar, okay? If you guys don't know what's happening, you don't know these guys or whatever, okay? The TLDR is that Kendrick Lamar, you guys all know Kendrick Lamar, okay? Back with during the pandemic, he dropped Damn and everybody was listening to that, you know? Be humble. <laughs> Sit down. Be humble. That's for you normies out there. But a lot of you guys know him from the Pimp a Butterfly and Mad City. He's a pretty top rapper. One of the best has ever done it. He dropped a diss track. And in the diss track, he said, it's not Big Three. It's just Big Me. He was like, you know what? J. Cole and... <laughs> Drake, y'all are not on my level, idiots. There's me, and then there's you guys fluttering down here, but none of y'all are up here with me. So everybody on the internet was waiting for everyone to respond, and Drake's just been out there kind of like, you know, head down, kind of sad, like, man, you know, dang, man, I wish, wish Kendrick Lamar didn't did that. Oh, gee golly whiz. He's going through his little, little canon moment and just chilling. He hasn't said anything like outright outside of kind of like neutral stuff. He hasn't fired back like he did with Meek Mill. But J. Cole, he shadow dropped his album at the end of his album, he dropped a, a diss track responding back to Kendrick Lamar. Crescent said, massive update. It's on the song called Seven Minute Drill. J. Cole titled Might Delete Later. And that's right on this seven minute drill. He literally... <laughs> deleted it later i think he might have actually took down the track now as far as i can see i'm looking on spotify i still see it on here seven minute drill but apparently it's getting taken down in different places i don't know i'm not going to play the song or the music because i'll get copyright striked okay but j cole basically responds to the diss track and it was cold it was so weak. He even called one of like uh, Kendrick album's songs. I forget which album it was. He said it was garbage when everyone was like, what are you talking about? This is not a garbage album. And then also at the same time, he kind of like praised them at the same time. It was so bad. I don't listen to J. Cole like that, but I know J. Cole is a lot of people's favorites, but I, I haven't really been hip on the J. Cole. I listen more to Kendrick Lamar and I listen to Drake. Everyone listens to Drake Drake. The TLDR is that his response was super weak and everybody was like, damn, bro, that's the best you can do, J. Cole. And then literally... 48 hours, this man apologized. Incorrectly, and I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot, I'ma take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like. It let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I wanna, I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I'm for y'all right now. <laughs> oh, some people are thinking like his diss track was so bad, how bad was it, that he was like, you know what, Kendrick, I don't want you to respond. Before you fire back on my terrible diss track, let me just apologize and say sorry, okay? I probably shouldn't have done it in the first place. People don't know if he's saying sorry because the public response was weak and they said that he was getting defeated or or maybe he actually felt it inside his chest and he made it. He's like, man, I don't feel too good, Mr. Stark. And then he just said he, he dialed it back. And the internet is freaking pissed off, okay? Rap beef, if you guys don't know, is like a sacred ritual when it comes to rappers. You're supposed to beef because you're supposed to fight and you fight with lyrics and then you, you you evolve right the whole point is competition right you come out here and he's like hey, oh i'm a better rapper no i'm the better rapper no let me show you i'm the better rapper no let me show you i'm the better rapper right especially when it comes to like people who are at the top doing it big you want to kind of push people to the limits it's a challenge it's a duel. It's about pride, respect, and all of that jazz. J. Cole been talking about killing any rapper who try him for three years, and now it's all love. <laughs> this is exactly what I've been saying for years. We had to sit and listen to these pump fakes for years for this guy to fold. Come on, man. All them wish a nigga would raps. Look, all I'm saying is that J. Cole probably been saying this about everyone except Kendrick Lamar, right? <laughs> If it was any other person, right? Jacob would have put that man in the dirt, happily stomped him, twisted, shh, broke the neck, you know, but it was Kendrick, right? And if Kendrick gets a second shot, especially after such a weak shot like that, he's going to double tap, bro. J. Cole is going to be gone, gone. So he was like, you know what? Let me just shoot myself. J. Cole realized he was conflicted, misusing his influence, abusing the power of resentment, a resentment that turned into a deep depression. The evils of Lucy was all around him. <laughs>
<laughs> Here's how I feel. Okay, I'm conflicted too. Okay, the evils of Lucy around me. Okay, on one hand, I feel like I want some beef. I want these guys. I want some killers. They all say they killers, right? I want them to start killing each other. I want them to come out here, get better, evolve, make the verses, bring the rap beef game, and make it excited. You know, like I like it. I like that freaking Kendrick came out there and said spoke his piece, and I want to see people come back and bam. I want to see some challenge. It reminds me back in the day where like Eminem and like some top hip hop heads. I don't like them getting comfortable in their seats. It's supposed to be a thing where you compete in order to get better and not just kind of get to the top and just float around and lousy zazi. You know, it's it's a battle. It's a fight kind of way. It doesn't have to be like guns and killers and everything like that. But, you know, in all of the rap game, you usually want to create some friction between the people and you was going to get some friction between the top three. So I like seeing. And also, I feel like this is probably was an apology that was delivered because his... Uh, <laughs> Because his disc was so bad. J. Cole missed, all right? He took a huge freaking L. You ever guys have any siblings and you punch somebody, you know, you just mad, you go, mm. You punch them and you realize you do no damage at all, right? None, right? And you're like, oh my God. And they return in retaliation, you know, your ass is about to get beat. That's what happened with J. Cole. You go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You throw the punch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That, that's basically what I feel like J. Cole do. He took a gun, he tried to shoot at Kendrick, bro, and the bullet bounced off his forehead, okay? And then he was like, I'm not built for this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't come back at me. I resign. I give up. Okay. I surrender. That's what I feel like would happen. On the other side, you guys know me, man. I'm always about peace and conserving your energy and, and having good energy, right? And all I know is if I was J. Cole, right? If it was my kind of energy and then Kendrick came at me, I would have been like, man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you stay safe out on these mad city streets, bro. Hey, you got it, man. If that's how you feel, I would have, I would have humbled. I would have be humbled. <laughs> sit down that's what i would have done bro because number one i'm not trying to get in beef with kendrick because that man is a killer okay he's the second thing closest to the freaking eminem that you're going to get and you don't mess with eminem but also number two i think the dude is like pushing 40 as well and, and it's, it's a thing when you kind of reach a certain point in your life where you realize that you don't need to get into this kind of potential bad energy bad juju situation in order for you to proceed and do your thing right there's something big about kind of protecting your energy and just standing on your own business and moving forward without the influence of others and also still going in that right that's pretty powerful so I, I get both sides i think the tldr though is that j cole took a super huge freaking l now everyone's going to start calling him l cole i wonder if kendrick is going to fire back kendrick lamar might come back and be like you do do you do do <laughs> and now i'm curious about drake too because drake is just sitting here in the middle like he just watching these two go at it. He watching J. Cole drop himself and he's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to be a part of that life or not or either. We shall see. All right, guys, we got to talk about wrestling. Okay, I'm not a huge wrestling fan. I used to be back in the day, but apparently like the biggest, it's like the Super Bowl of WrestleMania events happen here, WWE. Super huge things occur that I'm going to show you guys, but I got to be careful because whenever I show clips from WWE or WrestleMania or anything like that, I always get yoinked off the platform. Okay, but apparently as you guys can see here, Carudo has said, my boy, return from the grave the undertaker came back and choke slammed the rock <laughs> no way no way my childhood is back undertaker is back i remember he left he came back oh, my. oh you're done <laughs> done Rock is absolutely toast, bro. You already know that Undertaker is just slinking onto the stage right now. That light gonna come back on. He gonna be right in front of... <laughs> How long has uh, Undertaker been gone? Oh, wrestling is so like hype. I don't know how to put it, right? Like everyone knows it's fake or whatever, but something about it feels so real at the same time, bro. You got Undertaker in the back, bro, sitting here. Oh my old shin dead. This happens every single time, by the way. It's the oldest trick in the book for Undertaker, okay? The lights cut off. They all look at the entrance like, yeah, come on, Undertaker. What you gonna do? It's always the Undertaker right behind your ass, about to get you. You cook. Oh, 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 oh. Done. Done. Rest in peace. HP bar. I, he don't get up from that, right? I assume he don't get up from that. That's it. Wait a minute. Pause. Are you kidding me? They had The Rock versus John Cena face off. 
<laughs> what freaking year is it? Holy moly, bro. These are the two biggest dudes, obviously, when it comes to WrestleMania. I think it's it's probably uh, The Rock, John Cena, and then probably maybe Jason Momoa. Those are probably the top three wrestlers who moved on to Hollywood. And apparently, I Show Speed and Logan Paul was out there with the Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Speed in the freaking Prime outfit, and I think he got RKO'd by <laughs> who was this, Randy? Oh, dang! Oh my god, he got kick kicked. Oh, yeah, it's over for you, bro. Oh, he barked at him? He barked at speed. Ooh, dang, bro. Speed dead. Hey, speed. Someone sent me a video, bro. I think you should watch it. Hey, yo, speed. I hope you enjoyed your WWE debut. Uh, I hope you enjoy getting wrecked. <laughs> it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not fun. Anyway, I shall stay. I shall be. We'll play. Get your ass beat. I'll see you in a bit. Take care, bro. Hey, f who you ball head. F I get the f out of here, bro. <laughs> But yes, fans are saying it was like the best WrestleMania of all time. But I feel like they say that every single year. I don't even know. But that's WrestleMania. In case you guys missed it, bro. WWE, The Rock, Speed. Everybody in there having a good time. The Undertaker return. It looks like it was some good old-fashioned just throwdown. Last but not least, you guys probably already heard this. But Fresh and Fit. You guys know that whole podcast with both Myron and this dude. I think his name is Fresh. And uh, they come up there on the men's podcast. And they hire a bunch of like OnlyFans and models. And come in here and they start saying things like, This is why women are in held accountable men it's red pill stuff right men when you see a woman you have to be a high value man and women if you want a high value man you have to be a high value woman what are you offering what do you bring them to the table when blase 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 they used to get into beef with abba and preach and then they got like canceled in the deep platform i don't even know if they have a youtube channel no more i think they had to switch to rumble they've been struggling they went over there and started hanging out with sneeko for a little bit and they started doing the the hail hitler stuff and all this other that they've just been out of freaking pocket and now people are clowning i think this is fresh <laughs> <laughs> one of the two members of the podcast because apparently he got caught literally with his pants down and now he knocked up some girl and she's pregnant and there was a leaked audio tape talking about you know him basically dodging accountability he's one of the the preachers of like women saying hey women you shouldn't be out here having sex if you don't want to take responsibility for your actions you get pregnant okay no no aborting no babies or nothing and then in the background he's like oh my god i gotta go pregnant time for me to dodge accountability please Please, oh please oh please get an abortion and she's like oh, i don't know let's listen to the audio all right i want the baby because i, I don't want to kill the baby i don't want to kill nobody she don't kill i nobody. don't want to she don't want to you're not they just give you a pill and it's over no no i'm pregnant no but that's what i'm saying the pill they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good i am pregnant i can't pretending like nothing happened i can't in my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. <laughs> I would try so hard to look. I already knew about this, right? But rewatching it is so freaking funny. Oh my god! Because I don't know if it's this goddamn face the picture right here okay but like the conversation feels like it's like a conversation that's being done by like freaking high schoolers it's so like oh my god i'm holding that back i'm gonna try not to laugh i'll try not to laugh all right hold up let's just let's be serious here i want to keep the baby okay well like i said i just don't want the kids you know okay so what you gonna do and what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? <laughs> You're done. You're done. You got trapped bro the third trap as one she has the baby and now she's asking you this is what she's asking you okay you're not an idiot you know exactly what she's asking you how much are you actually going to pay me for me to abort this baby okay because either a i can have the baby and then have you on freaking uh what is it called child support for whatever long i want until the baby is 18 and i have my own baby and then i'm good so i'm getting paid to have this baby because i wanted to be a mother at some point anyway so how much are you going to pay me up front 
right now for us to not establish that she knows that she has the power in this situation okay i don't sense the idea that she wants to have a nice loving family between this guy apparently they were only like dating for like a month or so so it's more so like what are you going to do for me all right you want me to abort this baby it's against my religion i want the baby so what are you going to do and he said nothing <laughs> i'm not gonna do nothing by by saying i don't want a baby that's all that's all you gonna do? I just don't want a baby. I mean, to the, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh wow, like. So just think about it. It's meant to be. God Sorry? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. <laughs> it is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened, and then you are relate in a relate. You are fucking me for a month, and you, I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about it. If like if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already said by having sex. But it's too late now. You know? Dang. Rough. Rough. Fresh and fit. Fresh is out here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anyway, it looks like it goes deeper than that. Okay, no pun intended. Because apparently Fresh was out here messing with multiple girls at the exact same time. And the reason why she came out with these receipts was basically to protect other girls. She had no idea that Fresh was out here being fresh. <laughs> <laughs> with multiple girls and then she's the one that got pregnant and now she's like yeah i'm coming out to talk about the story that's why she recorded it that's why she put out the, the text messages and she put it on her instagram it was just kind of like full on blast for full notice be careful of this guy but also what are you going to do about this baby now i don't know who's the good or bad party in this to be honest i ain't going to condemn or nothing like that i just call it what it is it's kind of wild <laughs> i feel like there's a lot of karma in this as well so it kind of just is what it is is. And that's about it, basically, in terms of like news. Okay, we're just wrapping the things up. Invincible, you should watch it. Season two just ended, in case you guys want to binge it. It's one of the best shows on TV right now. Okay, you need to watch it ASAP. No spoilers, but I'm telling you right now, it is an amazing and magnificent show. So go watch Invincible. And that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Y'all take it easy. I'm gonna catch you on Wednesday. I might catch you on some other days if I decide to drop some content around there. But I love you guys. Y'all take it easy. Stay safe on the streets because these streets ain't safe. And I catch you later. Peace.